Park Hoppin, it's Tugs, and today we have a new festival at Epcot. It's a new year, which brings new festivals to Epcot. It's my favorite part of Epcot. For those of you who don't know that yet, Epcot's my favorite park. <laughs> and it's because of these festivals that it's my favorite park. They use different foods, different drinks, different snacks that you can get from all over the world. Each festival has a different theme. Um, we're in a new year. It's January, so that means the Festival of the Arts is happening. Um, it is a modified festival with everything going on. They are still doing modified festivals. So if you've been to one of these festivals over the last year, um, you are going to recognize that this is going to be, you know, pretty much the same thing. Um, the International Festival of the Arts is a little bit different in the sense that it's more artistic Lee designed um, the flowers in Epcot when you walk in they're gonna be grouped into different colors and they'll, they'll have different shapes and designs and and they look really pretty like a like a painting um, the shrubberies are brought in and you'll see like Mickey and Minnie and Bambi and Simba and all of the different Disney characters cut into shrubberies they get those all done to be art um, I don't know if they're gonna be doing this this year I think I think what they had said that they were going to set up the wall and do social distancing squares because what they usually do is they one of the construction walls they'll put up like a blank canvas and you can go up there and write your name or draw a picture um i was here 2021 kind of thing which is also really really cool um they've got different arts and crafts in in at different booths for the kids they've got you know the the festival of the arts hunt it's is a lot of fun so um this started on january 8th which was two days ago and it runs until February 22nd. So I thought I would take you guys through, we've got some photos of the merchandise that's been released and I'll take you through some of the, the food that they're gonna have this year, all right? Let's go. So firstly with the merchandise, as you can see, it's very figment oriented this year. So figment fans, figment fans, your time is now. <laughs> Get out there and go shopping. Um, as you can see, the Festival of the Arts merchandise is really, really colorful. There's a lot of color to it, your purples and your oranges, because again, it's represented by Figment um, and his imagination. So it's going to be that color scheme. Um, everything is really just over over the top. It's, I love it. So you have your spirit jersey. It's this purple and orange tie dye. It's got the Epcot uh, Spaceship Earth Ball on the front of it there. And on the back, it says Figment loves pigment. Oh. They are doing something different this year, and you're going to see this on a lot of their merchandise because if you look down here in the corner, right here, it's got the number five. It's the five-year anniversary of the International Festival of the Arts. It's really a shame that there's going to be so many restrictions because I have a feeling they were planning on going all out for this. It's the 50th anniversary of Disney World. It, I, oh, anyway, no time to dwell. Um, this year they also, instead of doing the actual figment design, it looks like they've brought in an artist to do like this cute little, um, what's the word I'm going for? Like cartoony, chibi, sort of cute, cutesy design for, for the Festival of the Arts this year. So that's the spirit jersey. Um, traditionally they are 70 bucks and that is what that is. You've got your pass holder t-shirt here. It's a big bright yellow. Figment again in that cartoony sort of status and then on the back of it it says pass holder limited running for I think it said 40 where to go yeah $40 this t-shirt here is your general t-shirt you've got Donald and Mickey with the big five-year anniversary on the back or on the bottom Chippendale here super cute they are painting figment it looks like <laughs> and that is gonna run you at $29.99 here's a close-up version photo of the design on the front that's actually pretty cute I love Chippendale. They need to be featured on more stuff. I was very excited to see them on the Festival of Holiday stuff. Anyway, if you're into Tervises like me, <laughs> I love them so much. We've got this bad boy here. It's got the fifth anniversary date on the bottom. It's got the Epcot logo with little figment. He's drawing a Mickey head. It's the purples, it's the oranges. It's super pretty. Um, $34.99 is the price, which is really, it's pretty steep. I'm not gonna lie. But let me tell you, as somebody who has a bunch of these, they are the best. So if you are into figment, you're into water bottles, this is your jam. Um, we've got a coffee mug here, Eat, Sleep, Art, Repeat, <laughs> for $20 it looks like. And on the back of it, it's got figment. The handle is going to be a paintbrush, which is really cute. Another tumbler. This one is a lot cheaper, $26.99. Um, this holds hot and cold too, just like the water bottle above. Um, these are more of a, like a sippy cup. I have a bunch of these for my coffee. Um, these are... 
um, really durable. They're dishwasher safe. The, if you have a, don't have any, you can order more tops like through Tervis. They're they're great. I love them. Um, so there's that. This is actually probably my favorite merchandise. It's twelve ninety nine. It's a plate, and it's shaped as a as a palette. How cute is that? And it's got the fifth anniversary with the cute little figment. That's really really cute. I like that a lot. Um, you pin traders. We've got some pins. Limited edition, as most of these festival pins are, each of them um, run between like 10 bucks to about $25, depending on their size and what the limited edition is and all that. So this one is $18. There's only 2,000 of these particular ones available. So if you are a pin trader, I would suggest trying to get one of these as soon as possible before all the resellers get them. Um, this has got the whole crew on it. It's the five year anniversary, they're painting figment. It, it very much looks like the shirt. So there's that design for that pin. Um, this next pin is limited to only 4,000 pieces. It's also $17.99. This one is exclusively Mickey. Aw, he's got a little paint can. It's so cute. That needs to be a t-shirt. I like that. Anyway. The figment pin is also limited edition. I'm going off track. The limited <laughs> limited edition to 4,000. Um, this one here is just like the t-shirt, the, the pass holder t-shirt that we showed you up above. Um, figment is painting here. He's gold. Oh, that's so cute. That one's limited. This one looks like it's $16. It's not limited though. I don't have a limited edition on here, which is cool. Um, it does say 2020 up here. Looks like somebody did a typo. Oops. But this one is the Figment Painting the Mickey Head pin. Um, now, you Magic Band collectors, pay attention. We've got limited edition Magic Bands. Um, they limited to 2,000. So the Magic Bands are 2,000 pieces each. The purple one is for Festival of the Arts 5th Anniversary. And the orangey yellow one is for your pass holders. So get that one. That's really cool. And the pass holder one has Dream Finder on it. Oh, and it says pass holder right here. That's so cute. $34.99 for both. Um, there's also some fun keychains, lots of color. There's a phone case. That's really cute. Your phone cases are $30. You've got magnets that you can take home. Those are $15 usually. Um, there's a Festival of the Arts with just figment on it. That one is $15, yeah. In different phone cases. So honestly, you guys, if you're a Figment fan, Festival of the Arts is your jam because look at all of this Figment <laughs> merchandise. It's like the one festival where he's just prominently featured on everything. It's it's all about him. It's all about Figment. I love it. Um, they are selling ornaments for your Christmas tree this year, your holiday tree, whatever you call it. Fifth anniversary, that purple. That's really cute. I like that. And yeah, so that's all the merchandise, that's it. So what I was gonna do before I go is just lump all this into one and we're gonna hit the food menu. <sighs> I'm not gonna try and make this too long because I could talk about food all day. I really could. But we're gonna start here with this deliciousness which is lobster poutine. Yep, I said what I said. It's lobster, it's french fries, it's jalapenos. It's a lobster bisque sauce. It looks so good. This is new this year, by the way. It's ref, ref, I can't. I can't even talk. It just looks so good. I can't, I can't even deal. Just see if I can sneak in a trip because I can't deal. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, and, <laughs> uh, it looks like the orange bird zipper is back. Did it ever really leave? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was prominent all last year. Anyway, it's back if you missed it. Um, citrus Blossom is really interesting because Citrus Blossom, <laughs> they sell the deconstructed dishes. So it's like you can get a Reuben sandwich, but it's not actually a sandwich. It's in pieces and you take a fork and you can mix your, it's interesting. Anyway, nothing new it looks like at that booth this year. Yeah, everything's the same. The Artist Palette Cookie is back. This is not the one they had last year though. The one they had last year, it came with a brush. And I think the brush was edible and you could swirl the frosting around. Maybe, maybe more. Um, this is Decadent, Decadent Delights Promenade Refreshment, which is the promenade is in between Canada and England. As you're walking from Canada, on your right hand side, you'll see like this 
building in the back, like towards the back, that's the promenade. So that's where all of this is going to be. Decadent Delights um, new this year. They have raspberry and lemon soft serve ice cream. Um, and it looks like the palette cookie there, at least this palette cookie, is back. So, yay! That's exciting. Pop Eats is in the Showcase Plaza. Ooh, they've got all kinds of new stuff this year. They've got tomato soup with grilled cheese. Um, and they've also got a tomato soup can Bloody Mary. Okay, so this can here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope so. The can, you get that when you order the grilled cheese, dip the grilled cheese in the tomato soup. If you've never done this, make yourself a grilled cheese, make some tomato soup. It's the best comfort food. Love it. Um, but you could also get this can with a Bloody Mary in it. The cans are souvenirs, so when you when you buy them, you can you rinse them out in the bathroom and you can take them home and use them for whatever you like when you take them home. Um, also new this year, this photo to the right, and it looks like a, what do they call it? A shrimp ceviche with lime mint foam. Yum, that looks really good. And then this down here um, is not new, but I don't recall seeing it last year. It's a Pop-Tart, basically. Uh, sugar cookie with strawberry filling with figments, colors, orange, purple, yellow, etc. Let's see. Refreshment outpost. Nothing new there. They've got their um, plant-based bratwurst back and their brown sugar stuffed pretzel, which is a sugar overload, but it's so good. Those are back this year. Let's see. What do we got new here? At Cuisine Classique, which I think is over towards France. I'm trying to remember. I don't even know if these booths are in the same spot, to be honest with you. Mostly, they stay the same. Um, but new this year for them is a French word I cannot pronounce. Chicken roulade. <clears throat> with violet mustard, candy carrots, pancetta crisp, marble potatoes, and berry rouge sauce. Ooh, that's this top photo right here. That looks like a meal in and of itself, doesn't it? Yeah. And there's the artist palette cookie with the brush. And you can, yeah, anyway, it's really good. It's fun for the kids. What do we got over here? Between Morocco and France. Oh, chilled seafood cocktail with octopus, scallops, shrimp, black garlic, aioli, tomato, coconut sauce, and serrano lime oil. That's this photo right here. Ooh, that looks so good. <laughs> and then for dessert, you can get a blue, blue corn pupusa. No, that's not what that is. That is a passion fruit mousse, dragon fruit jam. Ooh, passion fruit mousse with dragon fruit jam. Okay. Dragon fruit is so good. They also have, they don't have a photo, a photo of it though. It's a blue corn pupusa stuffed with cheese and topped with shredded pork. I'll tell y'all what. Pina coladas. They've got all kinds of stuff. This is going to be the longest video if I go through everything. But they do have this year, finally, because Ratatouille, the ride, is supposed to open. I was hoping they were going to do something, and they are. And at the, <laughs> at the festival favorites booth, which is usually in the, the Promenade Pavilion building, they have this year, and I am going to have to now, I have to try and come out here for this because they have Remy's Ratatouille that he makes in the movie. <laughs> it's eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, tomatoes, and red pepper. Oh, and look at that. They designed it just like he serves it in the movie. <laughs> That's so cool. I love Ratatouille. So, yeah, those are just... Look, they've got a charcuterie board at this booth. These are just a few of what they have at um, the F Festival of the Arts. I, I'm not even halfway through this page. So I will post a comment on this video when it's posted with this particular article so that you guys can go and look at it for yourselves because the food menu on here is absolutely insane. I am so excited. So I definitely am going to have to try and get down there because a lot of this looks good. And Ratatouille. Okay, so I'll post that link in a comment once the video is posted. I'll make sure it's in there for you guys so that you can go and look. Um, it's on Thrill Geek's website. They did a really good job breaking this down. And yeah, that's, that's all. That's all I've got for you. I'm really excited for Festival of the Arts. Um, as you all know, I love Epcot. I'm just going to repeat that. I love Epcot and I love their festivals. They're my favorite part. Um, yeah, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed just this video. I rambled a little bit. Sorry about that. But I wanted to show you guys everything that's been going on. And let me know below if you plan on coming out. Like, are you going to come out and try all this food? If you are, let me know. Hit me up. Send me photos. Sneak me some. Mail it in the mail. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you.